What's up, y'all? This is Dwayna, aka Glamazon 1026, and welcome to the Glam Room. So, first of all, my braid hairstyle video, um, that took off. I did not expect that. So, thank you guys so much for showing so much love for that video. I appreciate it, you know? Anyway, so I said, let me ride the wave. Let me tell y'all how I make my braids last two months plus okay and i say plus because usually i keep them in around eight or nine weeks especially if they're this small i keep them in for a, a little bit longer because i put them in this small because i want them to last okay so i'm going to give you some tips today to keep your braids looking good so it doesn't matter if you have box braids if you have um corn rolls if you have knotless braids whatever it is if you want to wear it long and if, especially with 4c hair you know 4c hair gets frizzy so if you want to keep your hair from being frizzy on your or sixth to seventh week, which is where I am right now. Stay tuned and watch that. But before we go, make sure that you click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be a part of the Glam Fam. You know, we got a whole lot of good content coming up. We got a whole lot of content that we put up already, and I want you guys to be able to enjoy it. So don't forget to click that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into this hair. Okay, y'all, so here we are with my braids in. This is like week six and a half, seven-ish, somewhere around there. So my braids are looking kind of dusty. Um, and so what I'm gonna do today is tell you guys how to keep your braids looking fresher longer. The first thing you wanna do, and this is if you do your hair yourself, or if you pay somebody to braid, you wanna make sure that they actually braid neatly. So when I'm braiding my hair, I make sure that I take my time down the shaft. I mean, I'm pretty quick now, but I always try to make sure that I braid the shaft down really, really neat and tight, so you can see them. And they're a little frizzy now because, you know, they've been in for almost two months. But I try to braid them down as far as I can and as tight as I can, meaning like the braid itself is not loose. First of all, I like that look better than it just being loose braided down. Number two is as time goes on, your hair, the actual braid itself will still look fresh, not the root just the braid it will still look fresh so even though like when you did the close-up you could see a lot of the fuzzies right now you can't really see that because they're braided so well you see so you really want to make sure that the person braiding your hair or that you if you are braiding your hair you're doing the shafts tight you're not just slacking off on the bottom because you know you're trying to save time the second tip to keeping your braids looking good is to re-dip your ends. If you have synthetic hair in your head and your ends are not curly, you can re-dip them. So right now I have a uh, half a gallon of boiling hot water and a towel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to re-dip the ends of my hair because you see they're kind of looking a little straggly right now. They're getting crimpled because I've been doing too much with them. Um, so I'm just gonna re-dip them and make them straight again. Okay, so I'm just gonna do half at a time. I'm just gonna burp, burp, dip them. And I'm gonna dip them all the way up to where my hair ends. As high as I can. So you wanna be careful with this because the water is very hot. Um, I'm kind of used to this so I can just like put my fingers through it and not really, <laughs> it doesn't really matter no more. It doesn't really bother me that much, right? And then the ends, I wanna make sure my ends are really straight. So I just dip the end, ends again. Make sure they're straight going in and coming out of the water. That way they won't be like crimpled when you dry them off. And there you have it, okay? For the most part. All right, so I'm just gonna do the other side and then we'll go on to the next step. So now we're going to move on to the root. For the roots, now if you 
care about like gel being in your hair, then don't do this. <laughs> and I don't know what to tell you. My hair is in braids. I do not care about gel being in my hair because I want them to look good, right? So what I'll do is I will take some gel. This is the Wet Line Extreme Gel. And I like this better than Eco Styler because it dries quicker. And I'll just mix a little bit up on my forehead, I mean on my hands, and just use that to slick it down. I guess the headband wasn't a good idea. So if you wanted it to have like a middle part or a side part, you just part it wherever you want and put a little bit more gel like on the root right here. And then either, depending on your comfort level, you can either leave it like this and tie it down or you can go a step further. Usually if I'm doing all of this, I'm gonna be putting my hair up because if it's down, I don't really care. So what I'm gonna do is go in with the first down, first touchdown edge tamer and I'm going to put this on my edges just to kind of, you know, we're gonna lay them down a little bit, all right? That's just gonna help keep them looking baby hair like because it baby hair really extends the longevity of a style honestly and I know some people don't really like to lay their edges but you know I find that this works pretty well when your braids are older I'm just gonna go and then like I don't usually do baby hair in the front so I'm just going to slick those back and then right here on the side where I usually start I'll go down brush that down it's funny that we call these baby hairs and there's some gray hair in this. These are old lady hairs, they're not baby hairs. I know this seems excessive, but my baby hairs don't lay down. So if I was just to leave it like this, it won't lay down. So what I do is go in with the Thank Me Later gel. And this is for your most stubborn edge. Then I'll put that on top of it. Just the baby hair part. And then I'll go in with this this is actually a nylon i had a pair of tights and they ripped and so i just cut the leg off and i use this now to tie my hair down right and so i'll tie that down like that make sure everything is covered and then put it in a double knotted right here so now i'm just going to take up this tresemme professional extra firm control mousse that there like that and then we're just gonna slather it all on our hair from root to tip root to tip so the last step for all of this take a giant headscarf so whatever headscarf you have, just get it and wrap your hair up in it. So we're gonna wrap from the front. We're gonna make sure that the top is tight and then we wanna wrap around the braids. If you can't get them all the way around your braids, then you can use these wrapper strips and kind of section your hair off and then wrap it all the way down your braids, especially if you have like bigger um, knotless braids. You can do that, you can use that, um, but since I just have these tiny little braids and I, don't, I actually ran out of rapid strips. I'm going to use this headscarf. All right, and that is it. Usually, if I'm doing this, I'll do it the night before. That way, in the morning, it's dry, and I can take it off, and it'll be nice and laid, and i go somewhere looking presentable. But if you're doing it day of, you could use either a blow dryer. If you have um, a hood dryer, you can put it under the hood dryer for maybe like half an hour, and just let it dry a little bit so that it gets all the frizzies from the top. Today, I'm not sleeping in this because I'm filming this video today, so I'm just gonna leave it in until um, I finish doing my face, and then I'll come back, and I'll show you the finished results, okay? All right, y'all, my makeup is done. So let's take off 
these headbands i mean the, the, these head wraps so we can see what we're working with with this um hair okay Ooh, nice and flat nice and flat i see you i see you and then we're gonna take off this part here Okay. All right. And then there you have it. Look at that. Nice. And I mean, they're not perfect. They don't look like you just put them in, but they're really neat. This is how it looks when it's up. You see, you can wear it down to the side, wherever you want to wear it, it's going to be good. And the longer that you keep it um, tied down, the better it's going to look. So, um, just remember that. So for the most part, you know, we got the edges looking good. We got the roots, you know, we tied that down so that the frizzies are gone. So you can like go about your business with your old braids and still look cute. And that's really what we want, isn't it? Yeah, it is, okay. All right, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below when you like my videos. YouTube pushes them to people who like similar content. And remember, we're trying to grow a community here, so please continue to thumbs up and subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Um, click the notification bell so that you can be a part of the Glam Fam and know exactly when I upload. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Amazon 1026 and I'll see you guys in my next video.